Well, hello there. It's another wonderful morning on Valguero. We're here in the cave that we talked about on the last video. Gonna be looking at making like a little outpost base here. It's uh, pretty easy to get into the water. So we got ramps that go down right here. And goes down, way down deep, into the underwater cave. It's a lot easier to get to than going all the way through the other tunnel like we have been. So I got the RG here, and he is loaded down totally with just about everything I think I'm going to need here. Not putting a generator here. It's going to be strictly um, non-electric. The thing is, turn that gamma down. I don't know if I want to build on that side or this side, because there's a, a ramp. It's over here by the waterfall. That also comes down right into the water. This has a little bit bigger area, it seems like. They both go to the same spot uh, in the underwater cave. And then right through there is the exit for us to get in and out of. But there's so much metal and crystal in here and stone. I mean, it'd be awesome to, to go ahead and just set up in here. And that just dead ends into the corner. I'm thinking about right here, building a, uh, putting some foundations and making like a landing platform so you can kind of see it from the outside for the birds and stuff or whenever I come back in, but all the resources we need are nearby, man. There's stone, wood, all that stuff. Wait, can you get through that? Kind of looks like it's a different texture on it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. I guess I'm just going to build right here for the main part. It just, it's just direct right in and out. So let's go ahead and grab some foundations and stuff. So my buildings are going to be, they're not going to have any ceilings, right? So I'm just going to be putting down foundations, maybe a little roof on them, just to, you know, but they're going to be open. So the first thing I want to build, see where there's a place tall enough, is I brought an industrial forge since uh, most of our metal will be coming from here. Like I said, it's just easier to shuttle from here down to the underwater tech base where everything will be mainly. So yeah... It'll fit, it'll fit, it'll be close, but let's go ahead, maybe we'll put it, actually let's get rid of these rocks and we'll put it right here. Pretty excited to see what this is going to turn out and look like at the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to build a place to close in because there's, for underneath for the teams. Probably just leave them out there in the water because nothing's really going to come in to, to bug them. I can't remember how wide this thing is. Go ahead and make it four just so there's enough room. Oh man, I tell you what. Don't be doing me like that game. Dude, it's so nice that it's so flat in here to build. Let's move the bird. Dude, it was this slow to come all the way here from the other base loaded down. It took forever. It took all night, actually. All in-game night, that is. Nice. So that'll give us plenty of room to roll up on it with the uh, the Anki and stuff. Just gotta make sure I kinda somewhat get it centered. Nice. One thing I forgot to bring was some uh, some railings. But that's why I brought all this other stuff. Go ahead and get some stairs on the front. Gonna be doing wood. Most of this is gonna be just stone and wood. Since we don't, like I said, we don't have to worry about anything attacking us or destroying. It's kind of, kind of nice actually. So I don't know what we need for the railing. Should we do stone ones? Yeah, let's do stone. Uh, let's go ahead and make all 12. Can't wait to get everything moved in over here. That's the hard part. Anytime you build another base is, man, getting everything moved over. 
Oh, dude, I didn't even know that was the right amount. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. You know what I did forget? Gas. Dang it. I'm gonna have to go back and get some. Um, next thing we need to build. I got two... Actually, I just might put those up here. I have two, um, two vaults. I, ooh, you know what? Maybe I should have made this a little bit bigger here. I just put a, just put a vaults on the ground. We can't put them on the ground. <laughs> well, that's not going to work out very well, is it? All right, let's grab a couple more foundations then. You know what? We'll just we'll build a uh, another little area, maybe right here where the bird is. Let's move the bird. Oh, he's getting a little bit, a little bit lighter on his on his wings. We'll build the next one right here. And here we'll do. We'll go ahead and put the smithy here, and the vaults. Maybe we'll go four by three. Just big enough for the, the vaults and the benches. Oh, I'll try. I got the chem bench, too. Oh, man, I can't use the chem bench here. It needs electricity, doesn't he? Doesn't it? Yep, not going to be able to do that here. We'll have to leave that. Maybe we'll put that down below in the, um, the tech cave or the tech base. Try to get this somewhat centered. We're looking good. Nice. Make sure there's some room over here too. Yep. Awesome. Get our little smithy next to it. I'm going to have to build a bunch of torches too. Because holy crap does it get dark in here at night. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead go one more and we'll make this just for vaults over here shouldn't need more than two but man you know how how it is when you start collecting gear and stuff nice and then I can put one more at an angle there all right all right grab some stairs make some more railings as well Ooh, there we go I think I'm gonna have to build some more. Man, I like I can move behind everything. I hate getting stuck sometimes behind stuff. Ah, we're good, we're good. Still got two left. Nice. Really wish I would have brought some gas with me. Let's get some torches made up. What am I missing? Stone, of course. I do not need 61, but let's go ahead and do 20. I'm going to have to get some more wood because... Or do I want to do... I was thinking about doing um wood for the landing platform out there. But maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and just do stone since I have a bunch of it. See, I was thinking about putting walls up on these. Walls and like a little bit of a thatch roof. Maybe I'll do that on here and leave that open. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'd like it to be a little closed in on some of them. Now that I just wasted all of my my railings. All right, so that's gonna have to change how we do this then, because it's gonna be all kind of jacked up if I. Want to put like a slope ceiling, slope thatch, you know? And to do that, we're gonna have to have it flat across the front, which I mean that's fine. All right, so we got two high. We need to get it down to where it's only one high there. So that'll be a slope, a slope. Maybe we we'll go one more high. Yeah.
At least we won't have any height issues. And I'm out of walls. Can we make the railings? Cool, I just need two. Yeah, that'll work nice. Awesome. What was I needing? Oh yeah, a couple more. A couple more of those. And I'm going to need to start making... Well... Too, too much weight, man. One thing at a time. Slow it down. Slow it down. I'll need one, two... Two of each, right? Three. Three of each of the sloped roof pieces. All right. It's kind of a high slope, man. Might look a little weird. Might have to take it down one. I say I thought I brought some. Ooh, we don't need 50. I don't think we need 50. That's going to work out pretty nice. At least it seems like somewhat of a a work workbench area, you know? A little workshop, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I like it. Let's get rid of those. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these because they are weighing us down. And you know what? I did not bring any hide to make a uh, mortar and pestle so I can make spark powder. One right there. Alright. One more. Hello. One more here. There we go. Nice. I think I might put some along here. Just so I can see when it's nighttime down there and I come up. Like I said, it does get extremely dark. Nice. So that takes care of all that stuff. I need to get my preserving bins out. Oh, you know what else I need? I need to make a bed, too. Maybe we can put the pre preserving bins right here. All right, so the last thing I want to build is right off... Oh, let's take the bird. I want to build the little platform out here to land on. I'm going to need to make some ceilings, some stone ones. So let's go ahead and grab our foundations. Don't do on yeah this side. It's straight in from there. Ah, you know what? Wrong angle. Want to get it to where I can go straight across with them. Maybe do one more row, and then call it good, put some stairs on there. So I need a couple more of these. Dude, I really wish I would have seen this area a lot sooner.
What am I missing? I need to make eight of these. Or do I need eight? Maybe I just need four. I can't remember. I want to put... Yeah, I should be able to put the, the railings on there still. What's nice is that you don't have to wall anything off from dinos. Don't have to worry about those Bronos sp uh, spawning in here like I did before. And to be honest, you could actually almost put the, the breeding area in here. Because you could fit a Spino in here. Should be able to. Alright, so we got all eight of those that we need. I'm hoping I can go out just past... Yeah, there we go. And then one, two, I need at least four of the railings. You know what, I should make a couple more railings actually. Just to go all the way down. Yeah, that looks nice. Dude, it's gonna look nice at night too. With the uh, the torches out here, been able to see in the cave. All right, I'm gonna head back to base real quick, the other base, because I do have spark powder there. And then uh, we'll come back and get all the torches. Maybe I'll put a couple more torches along here. Just for uh, being able to see. So I'll see you guys back in a minute. Oh man, that thing's going to look so nice at night. I don't think I showed you on the map where we are. We're up in that top left corner there. At like 35.8. 35.10. But I got some gas and I got some spark powder. So... I guess it would help if I had it on me and not on the bird. Let's go ahead and put some in this. We'll get some in these and then get the gas in the forge and we can start smelting because we have so much metal around. You know what? I need to get some more spark powder. Man, I went all the way there and forgot to get hide to build a um, mortar and pestle. Nice. Good to go. I don't think we have any more anything else to make. I only put half stacks in those just because I want to save some just in case. I think we could almost just use that for for light around here, man. Really like the area though. I'm gonna go ahead and start farming up some of the crystal and some of the some of the metal to get it smelting down. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good build, man. It's a nice away from everything build. It's in a cave. You can't can't hate on that. And then, like I said, it's easy access to uh, get down to our other cave, our other base. But it was a successful build. I'm not sure if this is the last video that's going to be for uh, Valguero. I'll probably make one more right before the. Uh, Right before the change at the end of the week, we will be going to Crystal Isles, and that will be the end of Valgaro for right now. I do want to come back and do uh, a whole episode doing Primitive Plus um, on single player on this map, because I really like the map. However, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. I hope you like the build. I really like the area. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.